For this workshop you'll need a jar with water, paintbrushes, a selection of pencils, rubber, tissue or a rag, pencil sharpener and watercolour paints. Let's start. Um, I'm going to go through everything that we're going to do in the Zoom session so you're prepared, but you don't necessarily need to do this before before the session because this is what we'll actually do in the session. But So I'm just going to tear off a piece of my paper. You might have loose, loose sheets. I'm just going to fold it fold it into fold it in half and then half again so it's um, in quarters and then open that back out so you've just got four four parts of the of the page if you want to you can also just sketch sketch in that those lines because there's that and that's just because we're gonna have four little like acti activities to um, to to get used to the materials so and we're gonna start by just testing out all these pencils. So this one's uh, 2H, hopefully you can see that. Um, I'm trying to see above, <laughs> above the camera. Wait a minute, 2H, there we go. So we can start with that and all I'm gonna do is just write what it is, 2H. Hopefully you can see that, 2H. I'm gonna draw a line uh, just to get a feel for it and start pressing on quite hard and gradually take the pressure off so you've got kind of you know what kind of gradient what kind of tones this pencil is capable of and then you can just drag your finger down just to smudge it and see see how that that looks um, in comparison to the others so where's my HB so HB is like middle of the road 2H is the hardest pencil I have and the lightest um, HB is is yeah in the middle that's what most people you know most school pencils or standard pencils are it's between hard and soft basically so i'm just going to write here hb so you can see um and draw that line again just to see what that that comes out like you can see already it's quite a lot harder uh, and bolder than than the 2h and then you can just start pressing on as hard as you can and then just gradually come out or um, take the pressure off is what I mean and then take your finger and smudge you see that smudge kind of goes a bit further and uh, so there's more graphite there's more of a pencil on the on the page so now the next one I have you might have some slightly different pencils next one is 3b and I'm just gonna write 3b do a line just to see you can already see that's much darker than and bolder than um, than 2H or HB and then press on press on press on and then come off a little bit and then pull it down with your finger and you can see that's going even further that's really far down um, and then I've got 5B let's do the same 2H. So I'm going to quickly draw this without looking at my page, I promise. Oh gosh. Uh, so here we go. Uh, so that's the line. It's actually easier if you don't take, if you don't take your pencil off the paper, because then you can kind of map. And then, you, you know, you can, you press on lighter or more hard where where you're more sure of the line. Um, so this is my attempt, oh jeez. Right, okay, I'm gonna leave it at that. Okay, <laughs> so you can see that there's, 
some marks there. Hmm. The path and the 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 little building, the little kind of spiky thing. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's <laughs> that's the first experiment. Basically, yeah, so you can look at the paper this time, but you're looking at the spaces that are, or the parts of the image that are kind of, I suppose, spaces. So in this sense, in this case, this picture of um, Price and Kensington Pottery uh, in Longport, that um, this, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the sky, well, basically the highlights of the sky, um, the little white kind of si signage, um, any highlights catching on the windows and that the, the highlights reflecting in the, in the canal. So they're the bits I'm going to focus on rather than, because usually obviously we put the pencil that marks down where the darker parts are, but this time I want to do the opposite. And it's it's just an experiment with um, understanding kind of what you need to look at to to judge, to judge um, the distance between objects and one object in, in relation to another. For instance, now this edge of the building is about a little, you know, just like, Oh, I don't know, a quarter of the way down. There's another little build there's another building in the distance. Um then there's a bit of foliage. I'm probably not gonna fit all of this on, so then if that was about a quarter, then it's about one quarter, two, three, four. And then you've got some more of the like uh the foliage. And then I'm 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 treating this canal as the negative space. So I'm gonna go round the boat. Mm. Round the boat, round the boat. Da, da, da. And then another nice thing about doing this kind of exercise is that you can use the, the side of your pencil. Oh my gosh. Oops, okay. You can use the size of your pencil, um, side, sorry, to blend, to block in the, the what we call negative space, so the bit where usually you wouldn't, wouldn't actually pencil in. So it's like it's like seeing a negative of a photograph or like inverting inverting the the image the colors of the image so that's that and um the other thing i'm going to do like i did mention the the highlights on the windows so that's going to be a bit challenging now because it's not totally obvious but this this um kind of i think it's graffiti you can see it just through the trees and then the windows are somewhere here, so I'm just going to pencil in those highlights. A little, oh no, that's where the kiln is. Uh, top of the window, a little sign here. And then there's a slight reflection, which is about you know, a few centimeters, well, millimeters probably from the boat. And you can add a bit here, a little bit of white there, and a little bit of white light reflection on the path in that water. Um, and there you go. Oh, and then the canal, because I'm treating that as the negative space as well. Just to give it some form. It's quite nice using the side of the pencil as well. Okay. Okay. There we go. Right, so. They're the experiments I wanted to do um, in prep for the class.